Hello and welcome to a new tutorial on stack food. In this tutorial, I will discuss about the restaurants management in stack food project. So in my last tutorial, I discussed on John setup and now I will discuss on the restaurant setup. So first, uh, what you need to do? So first you need to set up the John, then you need to set up a restaurant like by, by clicking the add restaurant sub menu from from the restaurant menu and you will get a form you, you, you need to fill up the field and need to create click the save information so here you, you need to set up a restaurant name bad tax this bad tax amount will be add with the food price of that specific restaurant you need to put the restaurant address, the delivery time in minutes, minimum and maximum delivery time you need to put here and here. And then uh, you need to put a logo and cover photo. This logo and cover photo will show on app. Uh, and uh, you need to select a zone obviously. Every restaurant must be in a zone. Like uh, if I select all over the world, then I can select a specific location of the restaurant. So, if I click this button and zoom in right now, I am in Dhaka, Bangladesh. So, if I, so uh, suppose my restaurant is in, in this position. So, I, I put, put this, I, I click here and the, the lat and long will take from, from this to this field. And then I need to put the owner information, first name, last name, and their phone number, and then the account information, the email, by this email, um, restaurant owner or restaurant management can uh, log in by this email and the password. And after fill up everything, I need to save the information. So after, after you save the information, the restaurant will appear here in the restaurant list. So in this list, you will get a very basic overview like you have total 16 restaurants in the business and 14 are active active restaurant, 2 inactive and the 15 newly joined list. This is the very, very basic overview, the total transaction, the commission you earn from the restaurant. So uh, I, I am going to this feature like Hungry Puppet, uh, in this restaurant. In a restaurant detail base, you will find a very basic summary and the basic information of the restaurant and the owner information. Here you will find a amount which is collected by restaurant. If the order is not placed by digital payment gateway then the uh, and the order is placed as a take away delivery not delivery actually the takeaway then the restaurant will collect the cash this is the amount the collected cash by restaurant so and the pending withdraw if the restaurant create a withdraw request and that is pending then the balance will show here total withdrawn amount the withdrawal balance this is the actual balance of the restaurant restaurant can create a withdraw request from their panel and the total earning this is the lifetime value they are earned from this stack food system and now if you click the orders tab then you will get the all the order list of this specific restaurant and if you click on the order ID, then you will get a uh, get detail of the order. You can edit the order. You can change the payment status. You can assign a delivery man. You can update the delivery information. As you are an admin, you can do everything. And the restaurant uh, management or management people of restaurant also can do this stuff from there vendor panel. I will show that later. And if you click the foods tab, you will find 
the all the food list you can enable disable food from here you can edit from edit food everything you can do this you can add a new food for this restaurant obviously and if you click the review button you can see all the review of this restaurant you can enable and disable the status of the review from here if you click on discount you, you can see the discount status of this restaurant now if i click on the delete and delete the restaurant delete the discount from this restaurant now you can add a new discount from here and this discount will apply on all the food of this restaurant like you can set a discount percentage i can set the 20 percent discount i can set the minimum purchase like 100 dollar is the minimum purchase if someone if customer add 100 100 dollar or more uh, value uh, in their card from this restaurant then this 20 percent discount will be applied and the maximum they they will get like 50 dollar in discount they and you can set a start date of this discount and the end date also you can start time and the end time and if, if you click the add button then the discount added successfully and this will apply the specific date time on the specific restaurant you can update the discount from this from here if you click on the transaction step tab you can see all the transaction with, with this restaurant if you click on the setting so now we are in settings tab this is the specific setting page for this hungry puppet restaurant and you can manage lots of things like you can enable or disable the food management feature from here if you disable this from here then the vendor panel is unable to manage food from their panel same the schedule order if you disable it from here customer is unable to order something scheduled from the app for the specific restaurant and uh, if you disable the restaurant panel review in restaurant panel then the review will not show in the restaurant panel and same same here if you disable the pause then it will not the pause feature will not visible in the in the restaurant panel so lots of feature like home delivery takeaway you can enable disable this or also you can enable the self delivery option so when this option is enabled the restaurant need to deliver order by themselves restaurant will also get an option for adding their own delivery man from the restaurant panel so i will show the restaurant panel few minutes later so you can set a restaurant type like veg or non veg or you can set the both and you also already know this feature when we add the restaurant uh, add a new restaurant like minimum order amount add tax minimum delivery time maximum delivery time here you can also override the admin commission currently if you have 20 percent commission admin commission in the business setting page from the business setting page you can change that admin commission to or you can override that admin commission to uh, like two percent for this specific restaurant or five percent for this specific, or you can set 50 percent for this specific restaurant and you need to click the save, save changes button next the restaurant business model kindly is set commission based but you can change it to the subscription based but today i will not discuss about the sus subscription based model i will continue with the commission based i will discuss the subscription based model in, in a new video then you you will find the new feature like daily time schedule 
you you can enable you can set the different time schedule for the different day like in monday you can set the open time and close time multiple open time and close time and then the final tab is conversation tab kindly it's empty here but in this tab you can see the conversation list between the restaurant and the customer the restaurant and the delivery man you will get the conversion list and you can see the conversation of the de details conversation here but kindly the no data showing here so that that's it from the restaurant uh, feature now i will discuss about the vendor panel or restaurant panel section for login to the restaurant panel i need to click this link here so right now i am restaurant sign in page here there is a two button one is sign in as a restaurant owner another is sign in as a restaurant employee so i want to log in uh, as a restaurant owner uh, a restaurant owner can create multiple employee for manage his restaurant so here i have credential like test credential so i'm logging here so okay i am right now in the vendor panel and he, this is the panel for the hungry puppet restaurant and i can see the lots of statistic here the top selling food the most rated foods and the very basic overviews and look here is a pause option uh, and a few minutes ago we we said it is enabled from the admin panel that's why the the feature is here but if we disable this from the admin panel then the feature will not be visible here so and the lots of feature like campaign a restaurant can create campaign the order management so i will discuss about this feature like campaign order management category food add on in my different video but today i will discuss on this specific uh, setting like restaurant config so right now here my here is the settings so as a as a restaurant owner or a, from the vendor panel you can enable disable or schedule order the delivery takeaway option phase non phase feature also you can set your minimum order gst and the multiple opening and closing time for your restaurant you can manage your reviews wallet config your bank info also you can uh, create a new employee for, for for the management of your restaurant and they can log into the panel you can create employee role and ma many thing i will discuss more or in details in a new video about the, these features thank you for watching this video hopefully you enjoyed the video and uh, I will upload more video on stack food. If you have any questions, feel free to comment here. Thanks.